guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do a tag video and this is the the ultimate panus tag and I have been tagged by Amanda like half a year ago. That's so bad. This is a tag created by Flora Lisa and yeah Amanda tagged me to do these questions. I don't really remember the questions. I have just screenshotted the questions and I will go through them with you guys. There is 10 questions and then of course I'm going to tag somebody and they will be linked down below. So let's start off with the first question and that is what is the one product you thought about panning but haven't panned yet and why haven't you? The first product that comes to mind is the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette and the reason why I haven't panned this yet is basically I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared and I know this Too Faced shadows are the real deal. The shadows are so pigmented and they are so hard pressed in and my palette it looks like it's not even loud. I can tell you I have used it so much but yeah I'm just scared to ban it but because I bought this in 2015 and it is my oldest palette I will try to work on it a bit more in 2018. So the second question is what is the one piece of advice you would give someone who is new to panning that you think is essential for them to know? I have said this in another video as well. I have just made a tips and tricks uh, how to stay motivated for Project Pan. Um, I will link that up here in the cards. For the first project, I wouldn't go with that hard items or items that takes a long time to finish. If you have some products that are nearly finished or you easily can use every single day without getting bored. That is my number one tip for you if you are a beginner at project panning. The third question is how do you stay motivated to pan one of your items just isn't going anywhere. <laughs> it's so hard and to stay motivated when your products aren't moving. I know that for sure but I'm a very stubborn person so maybe that's why and I don't give up that easily. In <laughs> But yeah, I, I really don't know. I just think I keep going because I'm stubborn and I want to see the progress and when I do I feel so satisfied. So that's mainly the reason why I keep going if I don't see any products, progress because I know I'm using it. So at some point there will be progress shown. Number four, what are your goals for your makeup collection? Is there a certain number you'd like to have for each category? And there are some categories in my collection I want to be low and some of them I don't really care to be high. Uh, for example my eyeshadow collection will never be low because I love my eyeshadow so much and I can't live without them. Eyeshadow is the creative part of makeup for me at least so I love to play with my eyeshadows. For example concealers and foundations I don't really care if they are high. Uh, and lip balms and setting spray for example. I really don't need a lot of those because they're just lip balms and setting spray to me. They does the same thing for me. Some lip balms can be drying for your lips but yeah. You know what I mean. I don't really have any goals for my collection. I just want to use my products and play around and I like to have a big collection to play around with. So. I don't really have any goals for my collection. Number five is what have you learned about yourself through product panning? I have learned to use colors. I have learned to be, be more bold with my makeup, to be more creative. And that is through Panda Palette, for example, that I have panned colorful palettes uh, in the last like three years. And I'm so happy that I have that I decided to pan colored palettes because I'm not just a neutral. That's kind of what I have learned that I really love color and um, no matter what color it is basically I can rock every single color if I want to. Some are easier than others. I have learned that I can go through a foundation in like three months if I use it every single time I use makeup. I learn how to use products more effectively and creative and yeah. Number six is, if you are currently panning, what is your most and least favorite product in your project? I have a lot of projects going on at the moment. I couldn't really choose for this question, but 
Let's start with my most favorite products I have in Project Pants at the moment. I am panning some in a shadow and a highlighter from my the Balm Joey Rockstar Palette. I'm panning the highlighter down here. I love it. I have it on my cheekbones right now. And I'm panning the Metallica, the white silver shade up here. And I love these colors. The shadow I'm using in my inner corner, not right now. But most time in my inner corner, it just lights up <laughs> and makes me so much more awake. And I just love how that looks. And the highlighter I love as well. So I really, really enjoy using this palette at the moment. And then my least favorite products right now I'm panning is of course my Neutral Looks Bronzer that I use as a contour. And that is mostly because I have used it for over half a year maybe like seven eight months and i have only hit pan by using it in my eyebrows it's not going anywhere and that is kind of the stubborn side uh, that gets to me i would want to see progress even though it's not moving and then i am panning my benefit positant this is a cheek and lip stain and i have it on today but i always forget this and i hate that i forget it i really want to use it up um, I like it, but I don't like it enough that I remember to use it. So that is also one of my least favorite products I'm panning right now. Number seven is, what is it about the project panning community that you enjoy more than the mainstream beauty community on YouTube? I love that we can talk to each other without it being, oh, you're just a fan of me. I love that we can have friendships. We can do so many more collabs. Um, the, the panning community is just so warm and welcoming there's no haters really and if there are haters they are mostly spam we are cheering for each other for the projects and it's just so lovely to be a part of i just think the original beauty community um, there's so much hate and there is so much oh see me see me i buy the newest item oh pr pr i'm on the pr list and i get the newest products before anyone else there's just a lot of uh, buy this buy this buy this it is so great and then two weeks later we don't talk about that certain product anymore i don't like that i really 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 like the concept that you buy products because you love it and you use your products and most of the times you use them up or get some use out of your products i do reviews on my danish channel i do i only do it if i really 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 love an item number eight is how do you keep yourself from giving into the hype of the newest product i'm on a no buy at the moment um so that helps a bit because oh i really really want that product and then i'm just oh you're on a no buy you can't buy it and uh, the other one is I don't have the money to just go out and spend it on a product. And if I do go out and buy a certain product, I can't return it like you can in the US. So that is also why. And I know the big YouTubers will do a, a review of the product and then I can see how people like it. And yeah, stuff like that. Number nine. What made you want to start doing project panning videos on YouTube? I saw a lot of people doing it and I s thought it was so cool and I already did make uh, videos when I uh, discovered it. So I thought why not doing it on YouTube as well because I really really enjoy watching them. And what do you call it? It motivates me more to document and track my progress and I can do that through YouTube. So. That's why. Number 10. How do you choose what to declutter and what to put in a product? If I hate the product and if it doesn't work for me, I go declutter it. But if it is an okay product for me or if I have a love-hate relationship with the product, um, I put it in a project. For example, this Positant thingy, it works for me. I have found a way to make it work, um, so I don't hate it because it works for me, it's pretty. So that's why it is in my project pen and not getting decluttered. And the same for the bronzer, it works for me just fine. And it's an awesome product and it lasts forever, so you <laughs> totally get your money's worth. I don't hate it. I just hate the fact that it doesn't move. So that's the difference from declutter and put it in a project pen for me. 
Number 11 is who do you tag to answer these questions? There will be some people linked down below, so I hope you guys will check them out. If you do this tag, please let me know. I would love to see you do it and I would love to hear your answers. I hope you will subscribe to my channel down below. There is a lot of updates and stuff like that coming up. If you have any video ideas for me, please leave me know down below and I will add it to the list. And then I will see you in my next video. Bye guys! Mm -hmm.